We are gathered here today to study metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. With some learning targets, you shall learn. How do I identify? We're in the periodic table. Metals, nonmetals, and metalloids are mm. located. I think we should get on with it. Yep. <laughs> it's really past his bedtime. Cut the back. Ready? You'll also be able to tell us who is solid, liquid, and gas. Sure. Yeah, I forgot there were two targets. Right? There's two on this. Mm-hmm. Even though we just did it last. last video. Cutting the fat. He's really trying to cut me. <laughs> ah, metals. They are all the silver guys. Ow. I see them in the picture. Silver. Silver. Oh, silver. yeah. They're all the silver ones is. Could this be a picture you might want to color code? Ooh, he just said color code. Get Mr. out the color pencils, color code your notes. Black and white's boring. Chemistry lives in color. For the 15th time, you will write that the metallic properties of metals. Yes. <laughs> conduct electricity and luster are malleable and ductile. Again, Mr. Monaco, what does ductile mean? You can turn it into a wire. Yeah, you know, and what does a you know, what does malleable mean? That you can pound it into a sheet. Yes. If you take a copper BB and you hit it with a hammer, you got yourself a copper pancake. And it's malleable. That's what that means. Mm-hmm. Characteristics readily lose electrons. Therefore, they form plus ions. There's a little hint. Your oxidation number for metals always start with pluses. Mm-hmm. They are found left of said staircase. Okay, good. All right, Michael, you take over. Uh, there's some trends in metallic characters. So as you move left to right sequentially from like lithium to beryllium to boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, the metallic character decreases. Each step you take to the right, the next successive element is less and less metallic. Yes, because metallic metals want to lose electrons. And as I add electrons, eventually they, they don't want to lose them anymore. They want, they want to start gaining them. them. But as you go down a group, each successive element like lithium, sodium, potassium, radium, rubidium, cesium, francium becomes more and more metallic. Because they have the same number of balanced electrons, and that balanced electron gets farther and farther and farther away from the nucleus, hence it's easier for the nucleus to lose it. There's more and more inner shells of kernel electrons, so that exterior shell, like Mr. Milk said, it's easier and easier to lose it. Yes, mm-hmm. and we, we said that the characteristic of a metal is to lose electrons. That is Metals one of the defining are characters. It is. how you've always said it. Metals are losers. Yep. All right. You know, you got non-metals. All right. These are going to be non-conductive, dull, soft, brittle solids, or gases. Good. These are the ones in blue up top. Yellow. Yellow. Ooh. Good call. Thanks. Thank you. Um, and characteristics are that they prefer to gain electrons, form negative ions, and they're found right of the circuit. Right, so that would be a yellow one. Yeah. Can I do the trends? Or do you want to do it? Um, you I seem like to I'll let you do it. No, you know what? I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the trends as I move across the periodic table, my non-metallic, or my, no, my non-metallic character increases because I go from the non-metals to the, uh, from the metal to the non-metals. As I go down a group, my non-metal character decreases. Because they want to gain electrons, and the bigger they get, the harder it is for them to gain electrons mm-hmm. because the middle positive pole gets shielded. There, I look said you, it. Look at you getting all fancy. Talk I said it. I said and it's it. all fancy talk. Like, he uses fancy terms. And he's all special. Let me hit up the eight metalloids. Metals, these properties may vary. They have at least one metallic property and at least a non-metallic property. For example, silicon conducts electricity. But it's brittle. Right. And it's shiny metallic unless you smash it and it turns black. So it's like it doesn't know where it really wants to live. So some gain and some lose electrons. So they form a variety of ions, mostly positive, sometimes negative. You can't really tell aside from memorizing the seven or eight not metalloids. You really wouldn't know yes. just by looking at them. You look at it. Oh, it looks like a metal. Then you test it. Oh, it's actually not. But it is. But it's not. I don't know. So these are found on the staircase, touching the top and bottom and side. So acetine, polonium, tellurium, tin, arsenic, germanium, silicon, and boron. No, no, not no tin. tin. Still be SB. Yeah. What is antimony? That's yeah. what it is. SN is tin, which is tough. Yeah. And the only one that is the exception to that rule is a metal you've all know is aluminum. Yeah. If you've held an aluminum can in your hand, 
That's metal. And while it touches the staircase, it just has too many metallic properties to be called a metalloid. Correct. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Um, one last time, solid liquids and gas. There are two liquids. I'm starting in the middle. Two liquids, one metal, one non-metal. Mercury and brown. Yep, we don't play with mercury at all anymore because it's poisonous. Mm -hmm. Then we have some gases, the Hofbrinkles and the noble gases, well stated. There's only seven plus six. What's that? Thirteen. Seven plus six, thirteen. Thirteen. There's eight, eleven now. There. <gasps> oh, are you missing? <gasps> we're not missing any. No. Okay. No, we're not missing. Any. Oh, because some of them double up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Iodine and bromine. So it's not the Hofbrinkle. I was wrong. It's H-O-F-C-L-N. Yeah, so almost all of the Hofbrinkles. Yeah, except for go. iodine and bromine. So yeah, it's Hofbrinkle minus ones. iodine and bromine. So let's not even say Hofbrinkle. Yeah, no, no, no. Can you guys go back to the last video and delete that Hofbrinkle thing? Yeah, yeah. Just Thanks. don't pay attention to anything Monaco says ever. <laughs> no, that's not true. How about that? He's mad smart. Uh, um. Solids, everybody else. Yeah. And then nice. So most of the periodic table is solids. And most of it is metal. Metal. Most of them are metals, believe it or not. Absolutely, positively. So memorize <sighs> the two liquids, mercury, bromine. Mm -hmm. Memorize the 11 gases. Yes. The noble gases plus chlorine, fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. Yeah. Should we have a pop quiz? I would love to. Ooh. Really? Ooh, this one, that wouldn't be on the chart, though. I know, but that's a pop thing. quiz. You get an A for the whole year. <laughs> ah! oh, boy. Maybe I'm serious. You'll never know. That's all, folks. So, yeah, I can't get over the fact that I think that when I'm turning these videos off, I'm still being recorded. Wouldn't that be super embarrassing, guys? <laughs>